Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, welcome back to Call of Duty Mobile and today we're going to be checking out the latest weapon that they've introduced into COD Mobile and that is the Switchblade X9 SMG. And I see since I've used this weapon in a previous Call of Duty tile before, I believe it was Black Ops 4 if I'm not mistaken. And back in that game the weapon's pretty decent. So I want to see how it performs within COD Mobile and the seaters, I want to see if this is good nukey nukey standards. Our so let's just uh, find out for ourselves, okay? I've it's literally just unlocked, long, unlocked the weapon. I've basically used all my weapon cards Hostiles to unlock all the attachments. The and now we're going to go to town with it, boys, and just see how beast of a weapon this thing really is. Hardpoint locked down. Hardpoint contested. Ooh, I'm liking this. I'm liking it. I know a really good um, Treyarch iconic map as well, like slums. You gotta, you gotta like, remind you of the good old days, doesn't it? Like, when you see maps like this, it just brings back some good old memories. To me, it brings back Black Ops 2 vibes. Good old BO2 days. Makes me feel a little bit old saying that as well. The fun fact as well about Black Ops 2, that we're on the subject of it, is the fact that. Just think to yourself, okay? Black Ops 2 came out in 2012. Yeah? 10 years ago it came out. Think about it. Process that thought, okay? At the time, it was one of the first Call of Duty games to ever go into the future. Yeah? Still thinking about it? In literally three years from now of recording this video, Black Ops 2, storyline based of it, it was set in 2025. That's three years from now. Does that technically mean in three years from now, Black Ops 2 will be classed as a modern day shooter? Think about it. It's crazy, isn't it? Let's shut us down there, come on. Dropped him, dropped him. Boy wants that nifty dude. He wants it. I've got the um, claw on as well as my class weapon, or my signature weapon for this build. In case you don't know what the... Oh, damn it, I was going to try to get some ammunition. If you don't know what the claw is, it's basically one of the um, specialist weapons that they brought in within Infinite Warfare. You know what I mean? It was pretty decent in that game as well, to be fair, man. So, Asita's... I want to see how we properly perform with the COD Mobile, so you will see me probably using it throughout today's video. Just drop them like flies with this thing. I'm definitely gonna have fun like grinding out the camos on this weapon. 100%. Hardpoint lost. Yeah, man. Nice little long range shot there. Nicely done. Dropped him, dropped him. Easy boys. Hostiles have captured the hard point. Be careful, gotta be careful. Drop team, drop team. Enemy, enemy. Nice. Cheers for the sacrifice there, team member. I do appreciate it. A nice easy cheeky kill. Nice. A nice quick cheeky reload for on it as well, which is what we want, boys. Thing with the SMGs, you want a fast firing SMG with a good ammo counter. It's got decent recoil on it, and you want something to just go to town on and just shred the enemies with. And this floor is an absolute beast, man. I'm loving it. They need to add to, um, from Infinite Warfare the synaptic dog thing where you can literally turn into a, a robotic dog and kill people. They need to add that in. I'm hoping that we see this in the future thing, like in a future season or something, because man, it was uh, it was beast in Infinite Warfare. It was very out of character when when it first was like you know shown to the public, but it was pretty cool at the same time because it was like yo, I get to be a robo dog. You know what I mean? How often does that happen in COD? 
once in a lifetime, my friends. That is the that is literally the answer. I don't care, boys. I got the nuke. I'm happy with that. But my overall spot to the beans on the switchblade. I'm gonna look forward to grinding out more camos on this thing. I'm looking forward to it. I see to this. I'm definitely gonna come up with some really good builds on this weapon. Actually, guys, I've been seeing lately. I have been uploading a lot of best class setup videos while I've been unlock unlocking the gold camo on certain weapons, and I'm gonna keep that going, man. I'm gonna keep it going. Obviously, when I unlock things like chrome and diamond on weapons and stuff, and Damascus and stuff, I'm gonna give you more various different setups on different weapons and stuff. And in the future, I would like to do like a blueprint series where we test out blueprints and give you my thoughts on whether it's decent or not, what things I would change on it to make it better, and stuff like that. So, if it's something you want to see on the channel, let me know down below in the comment section. Well, all other than that, my friends. I'm just loving the new concept with the Cold Mobile because this this is just amazing. Honestly, really, really is amazing. Hard point. Enemy, enemy. Dropped him. Dropping him, boys. Dropping him. Yeah, I'm on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep this momentum going. Hard point is ours. Hard point contested. Hard Easy. Contested. Easy. Sentry gun ready for deployment. Hard point contested. Yeah, man. Hard point contested. Oh man, this is just a killing machine right now. This is a, literally a killing machine. Sentry Through that sentry gun there, just in case they do spawn back there again. Right, let's put this bad boy in the air. Hardpoint contested. Hardpoint check test is complete. Keep it up. <laughs> this thing's godly. Absolute godly. Sentry gun ready to deploy. Yee yeah, boy. Let's see again. But there we go, my friends. There we go. We absolutely went to town there, my friends. We absolutely shredded the enemies. And that, my friends, is the Switchblade X9 within COD Mobile. Let me know on your thoughts of the beans down below in the comment section. What do you think of the new SMG that they've integrated into this game from Call of Duty Black Ops 4? I think it's a decent weapon, a good choice of weapons. I wasn't expecting to see it within the game this, like, this season. But nevertheless, in the game and it's a lot of fun to use let me know down below in the comment section what would you like to see next season what maps would you like to see come to the game what weapons would you like to see let me know down below in the comment section but with that being said i've got plenty more content still coming to this channel so make sure you subscribe guys and turn on the post notification icon the little bell icon so you never miss a future upload and also check out the link in the description as well that'll take you over to my second channel more aaron cooper where I play fan made games, I play full game let's plays, and various other great content. So make sure you look out for it. And honestly, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. It makes it turn blue, and I see it as it helps the channel out a lot. You know what I mean? It helps other people see these sorts of videos. So what are you waiting for? But, anyways, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end now. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you again next time.